And these are the slides I presented this week at the incident command committee meeting. Again, not surprisingly, cases you'll see are dropping off rapidly um, to the point that we've gotten below the high transmission line for all of the districts in Alabama um, and are very, very close to getting below the, um, the moderate transmission line, which is the current place where CDC says that masking is no longer required. So again, these were updated Tuesday. I just looked today, this is actually at 57. Um, we need to be below 50 in Jefferson County for anything to change related to masking currently. And so the, the folks at UAB are paying attention to this very carefully. Um, we still see more cases in um, students and faculty due to the way um, UAB folks have access to testing and, and are regularly reporting, uh, but those are also decreasing quite rapidly. Um, hospitalizations are falling like a rock with nearly 100 per day um, coming off each day. Uh, we talked a little bit about forecasting cases last week, but this is the, uh, the more up-to-date model from last week. And again, you can see really pretty much everywhere, um, US, Jefferson County, Alabama, um, and also UAB employees and students were expecting it to get below that number of 50 by early March. Um, this one that's missing a title is actually the hospitalizations um, for the three different waves. You've got the uh, sort of light green is the alpha beta wave, which happened in uh, basically October of 2020 through early 2021. Then you've got the Delta wave, which occurred in August, September, October of, of um, 2021. And now here we are with the Omicron wave. And you can just see if you compare the, the decrease in hospitalizations from these curves, um, Alpha and Beta lined up roughly with Delta in terms of how they declined. But Omicron is just dropping like a rock. Um, the, the hospitalizations are dropping off. And I'll put that up here so you know it's hospitalizations. Um, which is again, a very positive sign um, to see that happening. And, and to me, it's just interesting to see how these curves are separating quite a bit. Yeah. Other things that make this particular surge interesting are, and this is from CDC's website for those of you that pull that up regularly. But if we look at different curves, there are, in the US ever since the pandemic started, what we have seen is this geographic progression that kind of expands and contracts across the nation. Um, early in 2020, of course, in blue, you see New York because that's where the, the heart of the pandemic was. Um, in orange is Michigan. You see Michigan kind of following suit. But a lot of the southern parts of the United States and the mid, um, mid central, like uh, the Dakotas, uh, Colorado, that area, they did not experience that early 2020 surge. And so you can see here where the southern parts, um, including California, they take off more um, in the, the summer of 2020. Interestingly, in the fall of 2020, that's when North Dakota, I don't know if you remember this, but North Dakota really yeah. surged um, in the fall of 2020. And you could watch it spread from North Dakota as it went down and out in the United States for that alpha beta wave. And you see these other states like California, Alabama, uh, New York, Michigan, following the North Dakota curve. Michigan had another big surge that was very noteworthy that was outside of anybody else's in the spring of 2021 before Delta hit. Then we see Delta um, start to move in in the fall of 2021. And with Delta, we did see the Southeast um, really starting after the cities, the Southeast really charged ahead in terms of um, the, the Delta curve. So you can see that here, here's Alabama followed by North Dakota later and Michigan much, much later, where Michigan was still in the middle of their Delta wave when Omicron hit. But what I really want you to look at on these graphs that to me is very interesting is this is the first time in pandemic history in the United States where all states, all regions seem to be on the same track. We all hit Omicron at roughly the same time and we're all coming down at roughly the same time. So I do think this is a novel phase in the pandemic um, because basically every other point in the pandemic, even if most of the country was coming out of uh, a surge, there would always be one part that you were watching going, huh, I wonder why Missouri's surging. I wonder why North Dakota's surging. But for the first time in the pandemic, we're just not seeing any state or region in the United States surging. So this is uh, the U.S. Um epi curve. And I guess the thing that, that I'm noting here is the, um, 
the death rate um, or the deaths for the U.S. are declining, which is the one thing that um, that we're not yet seeing for Alabama. Um, we're seeing, as um, Suzanne indicated, definitely a drop in cases, a drop in hospitalizations. We were coming close to plateauing um, for deaths, but we're not there yet. And just to also add to Suzanne's data, you know, you can see the map of, of Alabama now with many more um, uh, counties in, in the yellow, which is, as uh, Suzanne indicated, that's the moderate level below 50 per 100,000, which is where we need to get in, in Jefferson. You know, this map just a week ago was almost entirely red with only, I think, about three counties in the moderate and just in a matter of a few days has has changed quite a bit. And, and then finally, to um, reiterate um, what Suzanne was saying about our uh, campus data, we're, you know, we follow it pretty closely and we do a pretty good job here on campus. And these numbers, uh, to use um, Suzanne's word, they, they really are plummeting compared to where we were just three weeks ago. You know, just, just three weeks ago, um, we had 251 student cases, 101 faculty and staff, and 443 clinical enterprise employees. So really just a, a tremendous um, uh, decline as steep as the, the rise was back, uh, back in the first part of January.